lower. This is the furthest I've been out yet. So we'll use this as a reference point off the other video. It pulled out another two pillars on that last gas. Yeah, so it's getting lower. I'm not exactly sure what time low tide was. Like when I'm up in Monterey, at, uh, in Monterey up there, especially Carmel Cove, yeah. you'll sit there and sit there and wait for it to happen. It'll pull back so fast it'll blow your mind. Yeah. And it's stunning to watch it. Yeah. Here we go. She's getting real calm. Well. Rhythm of the waves, huh? Zappa wrote some of his work right here under this pier. Did you know that? Frank Zappa wrote some of his music under this pier. That's what you said, the Doom song. Oh, God, with her Titanic <laughs> and her sandblasted. And then, of course, he wrote Black Ocean, remember? About the ocean turning toxic. Yeah, it's bad. It's good lighting. So, I could see the blue rope that's tangled up there all week. Yeah. So I've been using that as a reference point. And so, when, you know, the waves are crashing, so we're way out here. Really way out here. Lots of starfish, right? I, I have a calendar for 2014 from Diablo Canyon. Yeah. Watch out, here she comes. Get back. So, I have their calendar for 2014 at an event I did. A girl brought it to me. Yeah. And uh, they have columns at Avila. And you should see these photos on the columns. They use starfish on star, and then, of course, the birds fishing in Avila, which is the bay right across from the reactor, which I've seen it in my life where the sky's black with fishing with wells coming up and their heads completely up. And the piers are red with purple with green, uh, orange on top of each other. I'll, I'll dig it out. And, and what was it last time you were there? Well, I mean, they've been, we, McCormick and I, and we met this girl named Slow Sue, uh, San Luis Obispo Sue. And her and her daughters, they just work it and work it and work it. And they were so militant that they were going to show these typos were getting better. And I mean, she works it all day, every day. And she had two pictures. Is she on the tourism board? No, she was just heartbroken over the whole thing for her daughter. She's great, by the way. She's really good. But uh, she worked for months before we got there. Found two. Her and her daughter. Two. And there were two little sponges. One little blue. And one little orange, and you know, people confuse what everybody's calling a bat star is a bat star. It's not a bat star. Bat stars literally look like a bat. Yeah. And so. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's interesting. I, yeah, we looked at the, the charts. The, they're rare. The guys, but, yeah. yeah. So that you'll thing, see a little. That thing at Point Loma was not that. No, we'll see some sponges, you know, which we call them. Which there's lots of species of sponge. You know, everybody has one, right? used to in their house and your abalone ashtray. So this will be good footage for uh, Dana. Get back. So all right, stay in tune. 